It is Friday, so stop and have some fun with me. I'm Vanessa with Wish TV, and what I want to do with you right now, if you have just a second, is be your tour guide as I take you on a culinary adventure through my favorite international market. It's called Saraga. Now, some of you have ventured here. If you have and you're watching right now, drop a comment down below so we know what you think of it and what you come here for because there is a vast array of things. So we're gonna go on a really fun grocery tour right now. And let me show you a couple things right off the bat. So we're in the produce section. When you come in here, what you're gonna notice is the wide selection and array of things. Everything, you're gonna see unique stuff like this right here, I wanna point this out. This is an Asian pear. Have you ever had an Asian pear? It's crisp, it's delicious, it's super sweet. Uh, so pick one of these up, definitely, and just take it home and cut into it and try it. I know you're gonna love it. But then you're gonna notice things that you might normally use that you might see in other stores like mandarins, okay? So these are California mandarins, but it's like you guys, they're one step fresher. Like they still have the stems and leaves on. And as a dietitian, I know that that means uh, it's a lot of times increased its flavor and preserved its nutritional value. You're gonna see big elephant garlic. If you need some garlic for Thanksgiving, you come get yourself some of this because it's easy to peel uh, and it's gonna last you a long time. Then take a look, I'm gonna have my camera guy come over here to the ginger. Give me a high five if you love fresh ginger. That ginger is humongous. And ginger, you guys, think of it as your digestion, help, digestion helper. You can drop a cube of it into your hot tea. It's gonna help settle your tummy at night. So many good ways to use it. You don't even have to peel it. You can grate it into whatever you want. And excuse me as I adjust my mask a couple times, but here's some of the stuff you're gonna see. So these are fresh persimmons that we're looking at right now. Look at the bright color they are. That just means they are really rich with lots of vitamins and minerals. We have fresh pineapple over here. Pineapple I like to think of as nature's inflammation reducer. Um, so some of you know that I'm a registered dietitian and when I look at the produce section like this, you know what I think of? I think of nature's pharmacy. So look over here. We've got some really neat tropical fruits over here on this side. Everything from, oh look, so some of this I haven't even, golden kiwi is right here. You cut into it and it's gonna be this beautiful yellow golden color. Green mango, all these different, oh, different kinds of guava. Um, I've only actually had that fresh in Hawaii. And you can get it right here at Saraga. Uh, by the way, if you're watching right now, just know that you can comment with any questions and we will try to get to those. Then where is it at? Peeled papayas, yeah, so somebody asked where is Saraga? This one that we're on right now is on the west side. It's actually my side of town. Um, and it's on like 38th Commercial Drive. If you plug it into your GPS, it's gonna come on Commercial Drive. They have another one on the south side, and then there's also a third one that's going in now. And I'm excited to say, today is their 16th anniversary. Now, I have done a lot of cooking, and I've studied a lot of fruits and vegetables. Some of the stuff, you guys, I've never even seen before. So it makes me really excited to kind of walk through nature's pharmacy. Something you have to pick up for the holidays, fresh pomegranates. Uh, you'll rarely see ones as gorgeous as these. If I cracked one open right here, you'd see all these little jewels inside. And it's like adding a pearl string uh, of, of this ruby necklace on top of any salad. So pick those up, they're sweet, they're juicy. Um, then over here's dragon fruit. Give me a shout out if you've seen or used this. If I cut this open, it's white inside with a bunch of black specks. Um, any more questions, Dave? Cause I see some popping up. So just let me know um, what questions everyone has. All right, keep following me. So if you're just now joining, you are with me right now on a culinary adventure through Saraga. So this is kind of fun because there's nothing more fun than a grocery tour, at least I don't think so. Um, and you see here that there is an incredible selection. So if you want to really wow your guest, the Thanksgiving table, I mean, look at these beets, look at how huge those are. It's amazing. Uh, come into Saraga and I, I could almost guarantee you, you're gonna find everything that you need, all right? And you're gonna find what I'm looking at is really high quality because everything is in this produce section is bright and gorgeous. Look now at all the greens. So now, right now we're checking out the herbs. You're in front of dill, spinach. Oh, look at those green onions, leeks. Can't always find those everywhere. Lots of fresh lettuces. And if you guys are on right now, you're gonna hear a lot of hustling and bustling of this store because it is, yes, it is, um, 
a pretty happening place and they're stocking fresh things all the time. So take a look at this. This right here, if you know what it is, comment right now. It's called Mage. It looks like, where's, let, let me see where the, where the list is. It looks like Magui, but it's not. It's not gooey, it's Mage. And it is actually, there we go. It is um, a kind of agave. So it's an agave plant and that's what's used to make tequila. So it's a super sweet, agave nectar is that like super sweet, syrupy um, sweetener that you can use in different drinks and desserts. And then I wanna focus here as we come down here. Oh yeah, check out these Brussels sprouts, you guys. Do you like Brussels sprouts? I think you might like them if you try them roasted. Uh, they're absolutely delicious and they get really crispy and super yummy. A lot of people like them with bacon. Wait till you get over there. It's pretty amazing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now we are looking at red callaloo. So take a look. This is what I just said, red, red callaloo. Think of it as a Jamaican spinach. And so you could saute that, lots of different things you could do with that. I see a lot of people commenting that they love this place. If you've happened to venture into Saraga, let me know what you love to get here. So this is fresh cardone. I think I'm saying that right. Um, so it's from the US, but it is actually also grown and native to the Mediterranean. And it kind of has a flavor similar to an artichoke. Think of it like it's a, it looks like celery, doesn't taste like celery, tastes more like an artichoke. So I'm guessing it would be really good steamed, but just unique things that you're not gonna find anywhere else, as well as all the regular stuff. And then they have in bulk items, all different kinds of beans. I mean, incredible red corn right there. I think there's some white corn down here. You could make hominy with barley flour, all different kinds of flowers, all different kinds of nuts. There's thousands and thousands of different varieties of bananas, and they have a lot of those here. And then, so we're just gonna saunter over here. We're gonna gently just walk around. Hi, some of their fantastic customers. Hi. Um, and look at all that beautiful cabbage. So like I said, they've even got things that we use every day, but the versions of them are just the highest quality. Oh yeah, let's go over here, Dave. Okay, so check this out. This, my friends, is jackfruit. You've probably heard of it. It's a, it's a super trendy ingredient right now for good reason. A lot of vegetarians and vegans love jackfruit. This one's covered, so let me touch it, show you what the inside looks like. You guys, jackfruit can be up to 80 pounds heavy. It's incredible. And a tree, uh, a mature jackfruit tree, can, and I think it's a tropical tree, um, it can produce 100 to 200 jackfruits a year. So, and, and it suffices 80 pounds of each. Now, what you, you see the seeds right here, they have kind of like a milky sweet taste, so you can eat the seeds. A lot of people, it's kind of like an event to, to cut into this. So you can also buy it canned, and I'll show you to that here in a second. But what you can do, is you take the meat of the jackfruit and it kind of tastes like a cross between um, a banana and a pineapple. It's pretty incredible stuff, but you cut it up and a lot of my, my vegan and vegetarian friends use it as barbecue. So it's kind of like, it's got a texture just like meat, uh, almost like shredded barbecue. And what you can do is you add barbecue sauce and the jackfruit's like a canvas for literally whatever flavors you want to use. So before we leave the produce section, let me just say one thing. Let me give you one tip. When I was a kid, my dad, I have amazing memories of my father bringing us into a store like this. And he would, there was four of us kids, okay? I was number three. He would let us pick out one piece of produce that was funky, that we hadn't heard of before. And we'd pick it out and we'd take it home and we'd cut into it and we'd try it, we'd research it. And that was like our little fun culinary adventure with dad. And it taught us so much. So I'd encourage you to do the same thing here. They've got some young coconuts over there. Um, the dietitian side of me cannot leave this produce place. It's just incredible at Saraga. I absolutely adore it. Like I said, nature's pharmacy, lots of good immune boosters in the produce area as well. All right, so if you missed it, we were leaving the jackfruit right now. You can go back and watch this video though if you, if you wanna find out more and learn. Before we leave though, a couple more things I wanna mention. This right here, my friends, is horseradish fruit. 
So a lot of us um, will have that this season in shrimp cocktail sauce. I think it's in there. This is some strong stuff. Talk about opening your airwaves. Uh, it is actually a really great immune booster too. And then right next to it, here's another immune booster. Well, this is Gobo. I've never even heard of this. If you know what this is or how to use it, hey, tell me right now. I need to know these things, okay? But I do know what this is. This is turmeric. So a lot of people pronounce it turmeric. It's actually turmeric. And you've seen it probably most likely dried and it's bright orange. This is how it comes raw. You can buy this and just throw a chunk in your smoothies or in hot tea. This is great at boosting and supporting your immune system. I know that's on the minds of many of us. Um, and it, it is so good for your immune system because it's high in something called curcumin, which is which we need to support a healthy immune system. So that's how it comes. Just just you know, take a pinch off, throw it into whatever. Um, it's got a it's got a good flavor too. Now hold on to your hats because right now we are in the seafood section. So uh, it's getting kind of cold as we walk over to the seafood section. And it is so fresh here, you guys. I kind of feel like I've stepped into Seattle's fish market, if anybody's ever been there. Everything's on ice. They have whole cuts of fish. They have, you just took a look at the live lobsters, um, live crab. I cannot wait to walk you through this whole place. Almost any cut of fish you're looking for, I think you're gonna find. And I, and I don't know if you saw, but it's the whole steak that's back here. I wanna be careful of our wonderful customers over here. But you see that um, Chilean sea bass right there. And you can purchase a whole steak of Chilean sea bass. So it's the one you're looking at right here. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Um, if you're watching right now, comment on what your favorite fish is. My personal favorite happens to be salmon. So look, the brighter orange salmon, the better. And that stuff looks amazing. It's got a nutrient called as taxanthin that's great for reducing inflammation, supporting brain health and eye health. Um, so just, yeah, my camera guy's now scanning down this road. You see those huge crab legs hanging out right there. A lot of people like to have those for New Year's. Um, before we go on, I wanna walk, I wanna walk you back here, okay? Oh yeah, look underneath here, you guys. Then we've got live fish on the bottom. I mean, this, this place is just so fun. Um, it is really a culinary adventure. Lots of people are asking again where we're at. We're at Saraga on Indy's west side. 38th Commercial Drive is the area we're in. So you've got crabs right here. And then over in this tank, we have some fresh blue crab. You can see fresh blue crabs all hanging out right there. Lots of fishmongers working hard in the back. Everything is so incredibly fresh here. I can't even believe it. All right. So it looks like they're pretty busy, but maybe we could talk to somebody. Aha, uh -huh. here's my friend Joel. Let's see if we can talk chat with him. Could we stop and talk with you, Joel? Okay, well, he's coming out. He's going to put his stuff up and come chat with us for a little bit. I want to show you some more because some of you may have never seen these um, this uh, different kinds of fish and shellfish as fresh and even here's octopus look at the jumbo shrimp lobster tails what do i see over there scallops all different sizes of shrimp veined deveined the head's still on if that's how you prefer them um and then over here we have oysters mussels clams joel's coming out this is this is my friend joel everybody you've got to say hi to him so this is your spot right joel how are you doing i'm joel i'm well uh what's the most common question that you get when people come up to your fish counter okay sometimes they ask us okay what kind of fish we have uh -huh. okay what how do we cut so how do they make some some people they make they want their feet maybe for steak mm -hmm. they want to fry some people they want it for grill so you can make tree line you clean make tree line so they are different kind of questions well, you know, that's a good point because a lot of us find fish super intimidating. So you guys can demystify it for us, correct? Yes. And um, the holiday season, what's the number one thing people purchase? Is it shrimp? Oh, they, they, they purchase the shrimp. Everybody wants the shrimp. They want some fish too and some crabs. Crabs, okay. Yeah, they, because they like crab boys, a lot of 
American people and other people they want to taste the crab. Yeah, how fresh is the stuff we're looking at right now? Oh, they all ev fresh every day. We make fresh fish every day. Every day we make it very fresh. Okay, we love knowing that. Um, and, and you know, I'm just curious because at a lot of stores, uh, a fresh fish bar would have different hours than the rest of the store. Are you guys open whenever Saraga's open? Oh yeah, we open. Uh, the store open 7 30 in the morning so okay. we open immediately the store open yeah well i just hats off to you guys because i've seen them they're working hard back there it's pretty amazing stuff and we appreciate you joel thank you for chatting to us all right and as we continue to walk through you're looking at some really fresh fish i think these are just absolutely beautiful um so we will just come continue walking down the line again some of these fish i haven't even heard of before you have saltwater fish, freshwater fish. Ooh, some delicious grouper right there, red snapper. Almost anything you want to adventure into. Now, I mentioned to him that fish can be incredibly intimidating even when, <laughs> even when it comes ready to cook. So I don't know about you, but I love to cook, and this looks intimidating. So I want you to know that if you look at the pictures up, when you come to the seafood counter, you're going to see these pictures up above. And what this shows you is that you can tell the fishmonger exactly the kind of cut you want. So all you have to do is let your eyes glance up and say, uh, number five, I want it clean and with a three cut line with the tail, or I want it without the tail, or I want it butterflied. I want it, I want it fully ready to saute. And they will take this fresh fish and cut it for you right here in front of you. And you can watch them, which is pretty amazing stuff. Um, now we're leaving the fish area. And I think we've got some frozen fish options over here. You see the lobster, you see all the different stuff. We are entering into different cuts of meat. Now, you're gonna notice when you walk through Saraga that there's boxes places, but I also don't want that to be intimidating. It just means the store is really fresh. They have new things coming in all the time. They are stocking and they are restocking. And check out, you guys, all of these cuts of meat. It's pretty incredible stuff you're gonna find cuts of meat here let me tell you you're not going to find anywhere else um there's so many things I, I just want to sit and learn and like google everything while i look at it but let me show you they've got different cuts of poultry right here everything from turkey and chicken the the norm right then we have pheasant um if we jot down here we have duckling hen all more hen all different kinds of poultry if you're just now joining us, we are again at Saraga, the international store on the west side. Uh, they do have a second location on the south side and they're making a third. Today's their, it's their birthday. It's their 16th anniversary. So we're excited to give you a tour through their store. Look at these beautiful cuts of beef. Uh, raise your hand if you are a beef person. I happen to love a good steak and they have lots of different cuts to choose from. All right, the dietitian side of me is looking at the red and I'm seeing lots of great iron. It means it's so fresh. It's gonna be so fresh, so delicious. There's also cuts that you haven't heard of before, or maybe you have, you've only been able to pick them up in a restaurant. Say you wanna have a nice elegant dinner and kinda up your cooking game. This is the place to come. Beef shank with the bone in, which actually makes it even more delicious. A little secret for you there. And then take a look at this oxtail. Um, I think we have, oh, we have so many different cuts. Uh, beef neck bone, Korean short ribs. Those have become really trendy. Beef back ribs and on down the line. You're just kind of getting a good look at everything right now. All right. Okay, lots of different cuts of beef. We're entering into the cuts of pork and of course, it's just like any grocery. You're going to have kids that are crying. Might have done the same thing, right? We all know what that's like. Um, so look at this. There's different uh, pork butt. We've got boneless ham. This is something else that's super trendy right now. And that is pork belly. So this, this is actually like a super thick cut of bacon is what's right there. I've seen that featured in a lot of restaurants. It's really trending right now. And anything else? Any other questions as we're walking throughout? Most people absolutely love this place. If you've never been here, I think you need to come. I think you'd really like it. So let's continue on our journey, okay? So we've left, we've left the meat. 
We've left the seafood, my favorite, the produce, and now we are entering in to the grains. So these are all different kinds of rice. I never knew there were so many kinds of rice. I know that rice feeds half the people on our planet. It's pretty amazing stuff. It's a really cool grain. And when you put beans and rice together, you have a complete protein. But did you know there's this many kinds and more, I'm sure. Um, jasmine rice happens to be my personal favorite. If you've never tried that, that would be my suggestion. And as we are walking through, so we're going to start entering into the pantry aisles and you're going to see even more of a selection. If you look up at the aisle numbers, you're going to kind of see like what country you're adventuring to. So there's Mexican foods. We want to come down here to aisle 10. I wish we could walk through all of these, but then I'd hog your whole afternoon and I don't want to do that. So let's come down here. Is it 10 or nine? Nine. Okay. So 10, you see Philippine foods. Um, my best friend is Filipino and she loves to come here and pick up uh, foods from her home country. So we're gonna go to aisle nine. So these are Asian, a good selection of all different kinds of Asian foods. Speaking of, I've been in here before and a lot of the people that shop, when I interviewed them, you guys, they told me that they love this place because it made them feel like they were home. Hi. Um, it made them feel like they were home again. They were able to find some of the things from their native country that they hadn't yet found here in Indy, but Saraga has them. So right now you're taking a look at all these different Asian sauces. So you've got tons of different kinds of soy sauce. My absolute favorite is sweet chili sauce. So I might just use this. I'm going to do a cooking demonstration on Indy style on Tuesday with some of these ingredients. I saw somebody just said no passport required. Who said that? I, I love that. It is, you know, because of the pandemic, a lot of us have been stuck at home you are gonna feel like you've adventured around the world after you come to Saraga. And so now you're looking at uh, some canned fruits and they do have canned jackfruit. Here it is right here. So I think jackfruit looked more intimidating than the fish because it's so huge and cutting into it is a really fun event, but it's an event. So you could just purchase it in the can and then uh, make your own barbecue or it can be blended into desserts, lots of different things. They have canned lychee. Uh, rambutan, I think I'm saying that right. That's a really fun fruit. It's super delicious. Sliced mango, I craved that when I was pregnant. Coconut milk, love that stuff, but all different kinds. Oh, I gotta take a breath. Okay, we're gonna keep going though because we have more fantastic stuff to get to. And as we walk, I just want you to look at all these different kinds of Asian sauces. Plum sauce, sweet plum sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce chili garlic sauce. Um, everyone loves the, uh, the red sauce that's escaping me right now. I'll think of it in just a second. Okay. Anyways, we've got all different kinds of soups. Um, it's, we're walking down the Asian aisle with some Philippine ingredients as well. Oh, and then we have all different kinds of paste. So sometimes you might be dealing with a recipe that calls for shrimp powder, fish powder, um, I think almost whatever your recipe calls for, Sarag is going to have it. Crab paste. So all of these is just a way to give that, really that umami flavor, which is the savory, the savory flavor on your tongue. Um, okay. Broth, lots of different things. Fried onions, fried shallot. Those are delicious on salad. Fried garlic. Cut down on your cooking time. Okay. And from here, we went to saunter over to aisle eight. I saw somebody say on the comments, they said, tea, tea, get to tea. I'm happy to say, whoever said that, we're gonna get to tea for you, okay? So now we wanna go this way. We are now in the Korean aisle, Japanese foods is where we're at right now. And you're gonna see even more varieties of soy sauce. Tamari, if you need to go gluten-free, let me just suggest you do tamari. It tastes just like soy sauce um, and it is completely gluten-free. Yeah, Jacqueline says a lot of products that cannot be found anywhere else. Um, and then they also have normal brands too. That's what I love is that, you know, there's for some of you, you want to pick up something familiar as well. They have that more variety to it though. A uh, miso, absolutely delicious rice vinegar. Anytime you're doing Asian cooking, come here and you will easily find what you cannot in other stores. That's why I love this place. Uh, not in like this. This is a perfect example. So white toasted sesames, I, that's one of my favorite things to put on salads and stir fries, but they also have black sesames. 
totally different flavor, something you're not gonna find anywhere else. Okay, so one of the trends going on right now is ramen. Raise your hand if you like yourself some ramen. Well, look at this stuff. This is some ramen from Korea. Uh, from the look at it, it looks like way too spicy for me, but I think some of you might just love it. I'm gonna use this on Indie Style on Tuesday, so I wanna invite you to watch me because we're gonna cook with some of the things we're looking at right now. If you want to pick up though an individual pack of ramen and give it a try without committing to a big bag, you can do just that. And look at how many kinds there are. Lots of different noodles, lots of different ramen, cups of it, bags of it. Might I just make a suggestion? Um, I just spoke to you guys about my dad. One thing that he loves, he's huge on stocking stuffers. And one thing that he would do is he would come to this market and pick up like a, a thing of ramen, something that we had never tried before, or some of these different candies from another country, like anywhere in the continent of Asia, you're gonna see all these different candies that you've never seen in different flavors. You may have never heard of put into a candy and he would stuff our stocking with that. <laughs> like, look at all this Hello Kitty treats down there. Pocky. Oh my goodness, just so many things that you can try. Okay, so we haven't even really hit the frozen section, but over here we're gonna have some Asian dumplings. Um, my, I personally love the mochi or mochi. I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but it is like the, I think it's a Japanese ice cream that's coated in rice paper and it's chewy uh, and it's super delicious. It's one of my favorite desserts right next to tiramisu. And now we are headed to aisle six. Six, yes, okay. Here we go down to aisle six. So we are in European foods now. So welcome to Europe on our little culinary adventure around the world. Um, different kinds of fruit juices is what you're looking at now. Just about anything you need, you're gonna be able to find it. That seems to be the name of our game. Kind of up your culinary game and bring more deliciousness to your kitchen uh, and more adventure too. So if you turn yourself all the way around here, I wanna point out some um, canned <clears throat> oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, all different ones that come in a can, easy to use. And then, so if you just joined us, we're kind of walking through the European aisle now. And let's see, all different things to try. What else did we wanna point out over here? So this, you guys, take a look at this. This is black treacle, and it is um, a European sweetener. It's almost like a syrup, and they love to put it on toast. But let me see right here. It is, yeah, it's a very distinctive, rich, dark syrup. And they would use it in Christmas puddings and coffee and gingerbread. Uh, oh, even a glaze for salmon. I like that. Uh, I think this would be so fun to surprise someone Christmas morning and try it out. And a lot of us are having our school, our kids do school at home or we're new to homeschooling. There's a world of adventure and learning just by picking up that, have them Google it and, and do a full report on what that food is and, and how our English friends use it. Okay, so as we're continuing to walk, we're getting into my favorite chocolate section. I have some family in Switzerland and they always bring back yummy chocolates. Um, but you're just seeing a wide variety of everything that that Saraga has to offer. Let me point out one more. I absolutely love clotted cream. Uh, if you've never had this stuff, you have got to get it. It, it tastes just like this a delicious sweet cloud. It's just amazing. And it's really good with jam on a scone. And you can pick it up right. I don't know that I've seen that anywhere else, but they have it here at Saraga. All right, so I think tea is the last thing maybe that we wanted to hit. And if you are watching right now, again, don't forget to comment, where would the tea be? Okay, okay let's see, let's go over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a couple more things I wanted to mention. Again, holiday season's coming up. You might be looking for a fun and different gift. Look at all these different, so you know how a lot of times people give box of chocolates? Well, forget that. Come to Saraga, pick up like a box of Turkish delight. Such a fun thing to give, so different and unique. And they've got all these different kinds of flavors. Um, I just, I just love it. And 
Let's see. And I know their T-section is completely huge. It's up here. Let's Yeah, there it is. It's right up here. I know one of you mentioned you wanted to hit the T-section. And this other wall, lots of different, different kinds of biscuits and little bites of dessert. Tons of fun things to pick up for stocking stuffers is what I'm seeing here. Okay, now we will. We're almost done with our culinary adventure. Uh, I've loved every minute of it. I hope you have too. But we want to end with the tea. Excuse me, sir. So, oh my goodness, the dietitian part of me is seeing so many health benefits as we look at this aisle of tea. All these different kinds of green tea, black tea. Look at this oolong tea. Um, uh, lots, lots of actually weight loss helpers is what I'm seeing as well. But ginger tea. I, I mean, there's just there's so many. You could just come in try one take it home it most of these teas are like a hug in a cup put it with some honey for these cool days uh, lots of ones that that are just um, life-giving and wow it's pretty incredible stuff oh yeah i keep telling you we're almost done but i found one more thing that i want to mention so at my house we've gotten on this kick of making boba tea also called bubble tea and you might have seen this it's when the, these black tapioca pearls called bobas, I like to call them little bubbles, are floating in the bottom of a tea and you use a special straw and you drink, usually it's like a creamy sweet tea and you drink it and you can chew on these little, uh, it's just something fun. I don't know that you can find those anywhere else. You'd have to order them. So make sure, pick up some of those. All you do is boil them like it says, they're ready in five minutes. And it's just this fun, delicious, super yummy drink that you can make with those tapioca pearls. Wow, I think I have just exhausted my voice. I hope you've had a good time. Again, we are at Saraga, the international market. The one I'm at is on Commercial Drive on the city's west side, right off like Lafayette Road, Commercial Drive, 30th Street. You can put it into your GPS. They have one on the south side as well. And then I'm happy to say a third one is coming to us. So more information to come on that, but it's their 16th birthday. So drop a line in the comments, wish Saraga a happy birthday because I think they serve our community really well. You can find almost any international food you can think of and don't forget about that huge produce section, that huge nature's pharmacy, and then all of the fish and different cuts of beef. Tell a friend because they might be looking for something unique for those all those great holiday dinners coming up and they can find it here at Saraga. Everyone here is super helpful too. Um, so there's some good happy stuff for your Friday. I hope you've enjoyed going with me on this tour and thank you for sharing this video and you guys have a fantastic weekend.